Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you today, as well as Oracle cards. And I'm gonna get right into it. There's some really beautiful messages in here today I think you're gonna like. Um, it is January 3rd, 2019. It's the Three of the Empress, which is all about um, abundance and the earth and mastering yourself, right? The day adds up to 16-7, so it's about the tower also. So again, the three of the empress is all about self-expression, being joyful, okay, and social and coming together to co-create. The 16-7 is very spiritual. Yes, it's the tower, but there's a spiritual energy behind it, the seven. And it's the six of motherly love on the inside with the masculine driven energy as leadership abilities on the outside. And in tower energies, not only are sudden events, but also epiphanies and sudden good things, okay? So we have the Empress and the Tower today, okay? Which are expressing both the positive and the negative attributes of both. Um, but for me, it was coming in uh, the Tower and the Empress, and I connected with an old friend, Ash. It was just one, one, one. And that's for you, Ash. Um, so the Tower and the Empress, uh, and coming down to Ashes. Okay, because the Empress is the Earth, and the Tower is what burns down, and what we have left, what comes together, is Ash. So that was a main topic for the day, okay, which is going to come into the read, and you'll see when it comes up. Okay, so seven and three. Also, when I was, when I was shuffling, and it was a smooth shuffle for the masculine today, uh, the song came in, Where is the Love? When you release the passion and embrace the love, and then I was getting, where is the love, okay? So then that's when my friend Ash replied to me and came in, um, which was an accidental phone call that I called her at two o'clock in the morning last night. Um, you know, like a butt call, only it wasn't my butt. <laughs> and so it was her, her mother's way of bringing us together because her mother had passed a few years ago. So um, we were being brought together to talk and catch up. So that was really nice. So getting into the read, it was done at 1040 to 41. And this was the Divine Masculine, the Major Arcana, uh, where the wheel, Wheel of Fortune, it's the great wheel in this Syrian Starseed deck, the tower, and also transition were coming up. Transition is the death card in this deck. Uh, 1040 and 41, 40 is the Page of Cups and 41 is the Ace of Cups. So very beautiful, loving energy at this time. There were two wands, three pentacles, two swords, and one cup. The only court cards that came up were the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. The numbers that came up in the coding, uh, the coding numbers added up to 16, which was perfect because we're in that 16 of the Tower Energy today. Um, there were two, one, eight, and five, but also 55. 23, 21 came up, as well as 12 and 78. And one, two, three, that sequence. Um, also, the uh, coding was all about manifestation and love partnerships, so manifesting a love partnership. And the messages were a few. One, two, buckle my shoe came up. And I was getting one, two, buckle my shoe boot, okay, for those skiers out there, because I was definitely seeing the buckle closing. And then also clear and align, just in time, was coming up for the shuffle as well as 78, lay them straight, which is all about alignment again. And 78 is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So it's that, that ultimate family life. And 12 is the hangman of wisdom, seeing things from a new perspective of being wise. Then I was getting the message from the numbers in the coding and, or of the cards today. For those of you, because this came up for someone else yesterday, who've gotten to eight, like say so you're near the end of the cycle, going back to five, because five, five is coming up, to come go back to five to make space. So it's like going back to fix something instead of going straight to the next cycle. And five, five is a new beginning, okay? But you're making space around this new beginning. So it's very interesting how the uh, numbers came up there. So the message, um, so go back to 55 and make some space. 78, lay them straight. And the messages were all about two wise ones, or the hangmen, right? Um, and it's all about being in anxiety. Acing 
the God anxiety. So five point manifestation, love partner was also coming up. Five point being the, the five pointed star and also the pentagram, okay? Which has to do with money, okay? And manifestation in that sense, it was coming up that the two wise ones uh, to ace to the nth degree um, anxiety issues, right? So it was like um, uh, God, instead of God, uh, God was showing me that the great, instead of God, the great wizard of Oz anxiety. So Dorothy's anxiety on the way to the wizard blocked her from feeling her own way home. You like that parallel? But I was showing that the twins have mastered the five-pointed star. So now they're on to the six, like the five-pointed star was the 3D, the anxiety from 3D, the stress and pressure. But the twins are ace, and we need to ace that to the nth degree regarding anxiety of the old life and going to your higher self or, or the great Wizard of Oz. And I was also getting um, Tony the Tiger, and they're great. Okay, so that was coming up as well. Um, first love. Oh, with Dorothy's anxiety blocking her from going her, from feeling, from feeling her own way home. I was guiding, I was guided to tell you guys to go back to your first love and the anxiety from meeting your first love, you know, that first date and all that kind of stuff. What was it like with your first true love, the nervousness, but also the innocence and the trust because there was completely, complete openness at that time. I was also guided for you to go back depending on your age, to look at different years, 1955, 1978, and 2016, okay? And this has to do with anxiety. What did you learn about anxiety in those years? And for 1978, um, that was def that was my senior year of high school, and definitely my, my first uh, true love was that experience that year. So you're guided to do the same. Uh, so we're going to get right into the read. The Queen of Wands for the Divine Masculine places a hat of light on her head, no longer fighting for her wounds, new passion for God, for her connection with herself and her own passions. The whistleblower is out again, pointing out lower vibrations. And then I was getting in the city, okay? So the city creates more lower vibration energy. There's a new passion for growth opportunity with the Empress. And then I was getting a student connects with a teacher the child with the mother, making cantaloupe balls, melon or orange sherbet scoops, raspberry and orange, and that's a specific message for someone, because initially I was just getting the, um, the raspberry sherbet scoops, and then I was being guided to go back and say, no, raspberry and orange, and then lime, yuck. Scandals and feet in the grass, water, water the plants, don't forget to water the plants, calling out to mother nature, um, and teachers, mothers, friends, and aunts. Stinger is out. Leave the tale or the stories behind, but instead feel the sting to help you align. Others will wonder what's up over time, so be patient with others. The Queen of Cups reversed is also out whining, complaining, not using their intuition, not knowing, while others are free, open-hearted, even when heart is broken, all right? So this Queen of Cups reverse energy is coming up as, and it could even be, um, this Queen of Cups energy actually could be an expression of the Queen of Wands here in the read of complaining, but then now she's learning because she's seeing whoever it is in her life, could be the Divine Feminines too, um, where someone is really heartbroken but coming out about how they're okay now. They're, de they're learning how to heal their own pain and not blaming others. So there's something about bringing that together with the karmics are now seeing this, okay? And I'm seeing it around me as well in my environment with the people I see every day. They're coming around more to, to what's going on and understanding what you're telling them. Okay. So focus... Focus on your yellow socks. And then I was getting buttercup. Make sure it's buttercup yellow. And white dog. A stone massage. A purifying sauna with log. Maybe a fire log. 
or clearing your log or schedule. It's about all right, clearing out your body or your schedule, okay? Focus, I'm gonna say this again, focus on your yellow socks, make sure it's buttercup yellow, a white dog, and that could be actually an animal or something called white dog, there's actually a restaurant white dog, a stone massage, and that could be for your feet or anything, but just a purifying sauna with log, you know, steaming all the crap out of you, or clearing your log or schedule at work, letting go of anxiety to take a leap, a little tiny surgical procedure, only two snips or four feet. Okay, so the leap is not that big and the surgery isn't that big. Don't go into fear about it. It's all the same. Someone afraid of heart surgery or cardiac cath or taking a leap to love, it's all the same leap. It's just fear and anxiety blocking your heart. You're knowing your name. When I started saying that, it was... Um, 10, 10, now it's, it just turned 11 as I said that. So 10, 10 is that number that keeps coming up. Uh, it's about turn for the better and staying at a high vibration. Fear is an illusion. Think back to lost time you overcame a fear. Or look back to last time that you overcame a fear. Was it all that you expected? You know, you always, did you overcome the tears? You know, because it was, it's never that big a deal after you overcome the fear. But put yourself back in that place before you had the fear, when you go into fear now, to say, oh, but it's not real. Because last time I did that, I went through it and I was fine. If you don't take the risk to open your heart, you'll always be in lack and never experience true love. A wedding comes up as the underlying energy as well as the divine masculine is safe to love. And wedding has to do with marriage. It's saying you're safe to love and then wedding. This situation involves marriage. Get your wish, end her pain, be playful, and have sex. You'll never be the same. Right big toe acupuncture point, heel to toe again, allowing, allowing the foot to trail, to flow, to linger. Stinger put away with a favorite singer. Okay, now, now that you're sane. So it's saying, let it flow, be natural, come together, have sex. Cuddle afterwards to your favorite singer anything that relaxes you. The King of Wands shows affection. He is, he is Caramel Boots. Her in brown, switching roles, now that they're more grounded. Be patient with manipulators, the drinkers, the moody blues. Leave them in stitches, show them your butt crack. <laughs> Dirt and charcoal, the ground and ashes, the truth and words put aside for a very big hug. Show them the real you. Okay, so this is for the masculine. When you have people around you who are moody or manipulating or being impatient, whether it's your kids or your family or your friends, whatever it is, you know, make them laugh. Show them, show them humor in their own faults. Show them your butt crack, okay? You might want to moon them. But again, dirt and literally that, that contrast was coming up. Dirt and charcoal is that the two colors, you know, the color of dirt and the color of charcoal is that lighter black, is the ground and the ashes. So what did I tell you at the beginning of the read? The truth and the words put aside for a very big hug, let go of the words, the story, and feel, hug. Show them the real you, that's the real you. Teaching and learning and financial discipline come up for the masculine. Fin financial discipline was underneath teaching and learning, teaching and learning was the top of the underlying energy. And just because he's older doesn't mean he knows better or is without sin or silly grins. And we're talking about the emperor here. The emperor Aries is out thinking about the universe. The king of wands is looking at him and his family curse. A bad childhood. Where have all the flowers gone? That was such a big line for me when I was young. It just came back to me. The victimization... Time to let go, it's been too long. So for the Divine Masculines, or a brother or a friend of the Divine Masculine, who is this King of Wands, who's holding a grudge towards the Emperor, the father, or a father-in-law, or a boss, or whoever it is, it's time to let go. Family trees reflect in the water, having felt stung and attacked for wearing burgundy stockings instead of dark black. Feeling branded with pain through family lineage and name, now reversing that, leaving in the past that pain and that shame. 
the Queen of Wands settles up with God, as the King of Wands settles with father wounds. The broken heart of the mother, the marriage dissolved, dissolution. Settling amicably, amicably, teaching and learning, it's not worth the pain to keep each other from their true yearning. Recently was the Ace of Wands in that position. This functional family recycles. The Queen of Wands now has a new passion for shadow work, but can't focus due to the Queen of Pentacles reversed because of her, blocking her from her true desires. The foundation is the, is the tower. And then I was getting F the tower. Destiny calls, world now complete, holding back feelings, passionate exchange to the nth degree. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is definitely coming up here um, as the Divine Masculine's karmic, or it could be someone around him. It could be the Divine Feminine, but I wasn't taking it that way. I was getting the karmic waking up, and some of the karmics will be twins as well, but that's not their twin, and they will be awakened after the Divine Feminine, you. Um, and so um, the cycle will be, you know, a year or two years or three years apart from the Divine Feminine. So that when they split up, it's because she leaves her relationship and starts her journey with her masculine, okay? So there could be some, divine, um, some karmics who are now waking up making peace with God, they could be religious karmics, um, learning to do shadow work, but can't focus due to a queen of pentacles reversed, who may be the divine feminine, um, and she knows it was because of her. Um, it doesn't have to be the divine feminine, it could be um, someone else in the divine masculine's life, a sister or friend of the karmic. But she knows that she was blocking this queen of pentacles reversed, and why the queen of pentacles reversed is ungrounded, blocking her from her true desires, the divine masculine. So the tower comes up in the foundation for the Divine Masculine. F the tower, destiny calls, world now complete, holding back feelings, passionate exchange to the nth degree. Two children comp compete for their mothers, love. The emperor fell from grace, the king of wands is saving face. Centrally, destiny, awake to a negative past or childhood, choosing a new path, sneakiness and anxiety released for good. That's for the Divine Masculine. World in right hand, flame in the left, off to heal broken hearts, jar of hearts came up, and cancel any bets. So if someone has a gambling issue, or I was definitely getting in the two brothers who are really competitive, that they were probably making bets with each other all their lives, and they may even have bet on the divine feminine and, and what would happen. So be aware of this. Excited to be free, to pay out and burn the past. The challenge being anxiety of the Leo, finding peace and starting over in love and hermit shedding light on it having already experienced the grief of the world warrior the wounded warrior the justice system exposed king of pentacles now extending a hand to propose i'm gonna say that again the challenge for the divine masculine the anxiety could be just strong anxiety or it could be anxiety of a leo finding peace the divine masculine and starting over in love and the herm while the hermit is shedding light on it, having already experienced the grief, so the divine feminine, of the wounded warrior and the justice system exposed, but now the king of pentacles extending a hand to propose. Now, in the divine masculine's head, the magician hermit, which also could be Virgo doctor or an old man, magician hermit, who's been stuck about independent girl he adores so much, tired of silent treatment and stuck in emotions that are uncomfortable, proposes a little shadow work, if you know what I mean, <laughs> under the moonlight to burn the past, to end the pain, needing an opportunity to make up for what he's done to heal his shame. Truth, balance, exposing how he's felt without his flame, the passionate feelings, DNA stuff, and right elbow inflamed, releasing the anger in his DNA chain. Soon, learning to let go and see what he has right in front of him, how much rising over it, how much and rising over it, dumping things he doesn't need, with help showing him when he is in anxiety and victim mentality about, about being strong or about Leo. Being angel, since he left, getting ready to surprise you and wake you, obsessed. 
He is the E-Tower, the Divine Feminine Heart, allowing himself in to our home, playing ball with the angels, patient and sovereign, dancing and grounding, getting ready for a brand new start. Um, let your friends help you comes up for the Divine Masculine as well as children that they are affecting your love life. The children are growing up, but they're also sovereign. Please know this. Um, they also have babysitters. Around him, Union Portal is here. Satisfied on his own with divorce or justice system all wrapped up, he is in his knowing, in the portal, both ready to meet up. Clear blocks of brain wars, avoiding disasters, and looking or going back to being needy for attention or to save the Queen of Wands victim. Okay, so this is for the masculines to let go of these things, these blocks always needing the feeling they need to save someone when this person should be saving themselves. The Divine Feminine went through that. So she, this Queen of Wands, can deal with the energy coming in just like your twin did. Okay, so it's saying stop saving someone who you're um, enabling instead of actually helping. And then right at that moment, the wind blew something over in my front room, so it was, it was significant right there. The cards that came up for the masculine were love partnership, manifestation, and even more so, surrender and relationship change. The Queen of Cups reunion, watching messages of truth, then loving and working together, the Divine Masculine surrenders. Obsessed Empress left behind with Emperor reversed, dying, or obsessively tired. Okay, so this definitely could be the parents of the Masculine or the, the in-laws of the Masculine. And then I got a phone call right at that moment, and it was where the heading comes up, scam likely, okay? So there's some kind of scam going on here, and that was at 1221 to 1222. So very important, and I'm going to say that again. So the Queen of Cups that was reversed in the beginning of the read might have just been a, an attribute of the Queen of Wands, because, of course, both can be, have the same type of energies, because they're going to be very similar people on the outside, okay? The Queen of Cups comes at the end as a reunion, as a feminine, watching messages of truth together and then loving and working together, the Divine Masculine surrenders. But there's an obsessed Empress left behind with the Emperor reversed, dying or obsessively tired. And that's when the scam likely came up. So there's someone, one of the parents of the Divine Masculine or the Karmic. Um, there may be some kind of break, like I said, or maybe they're just arguing as usual, the parents, because they don't ever get along. It was just 2244. The Divine Masculine surrenders to lightning, epiphanies, and co-creating at work. Please tell me what to know. I know it sounds absurd. Please tell me who I am, okay? Please tell me who I am. The Empress, the Empress is performing, low-balling, low-vibe, repeating patterns, in family ending announced, King of Pentacles split, to become King of Cups, new King of the Hill, not a mouse. Okay, so the, there's a, a family ending announced where the masculine rises to the top, but there's still an empress. It looks like a mother or a mother-in-law who's not happy about any of this because she's, she's stuck with the emperor who's sick. So maybe the masculine's not going to take care of everyone anymore. Now she has to take care of her husband or they're getting divorced or he's very sick, but she has to take care of it now. The Queen of Wands' sudden epiphany to go to the Divine Feminine or to appeal to the Divine Masculine's heart to end things and go through portal and passion for new start, uh, destined for anxiety, grief, and brain wars, proposing surrender to third party, heartbreak, and a higher power. So here's definitely energy of the karmics coming around to what's best for them and staying in this relationship obviously is not what's best for them. It doesn't allow them their own desires. And then instead of just fighting for the sake of fighting, now they're both realizing that they'd both be happier not together. And it's so weird that this came up because when I came back from my appointment after doing this, I had an appointment right after I finished uh, doing all my notes, and then I came home to somebody's car in front of me, my house. Um, it was really strange because it was a Mercedes, and I don't often see a lot of Mercedes parked in front of my house. But and it, it was just really strange. So I looked and the person, they didn't look very nice. They had long dark brown hair and maybe bangs and they were smoking a cigarette and they, when they saw me, they pulled away from the curb, turned around um, at the street 
um, down the street and then came back again and she kind of just looked at me with a dirty look smoking a cigarette like she's too cool for anyone so I don't know who that who that was or what that was about but I've never seen her around here before so just saying um, could just be people out playing could be my next-door neighbor's friends who knows but anyway it just happened uh, because scam likely came up right before this uh, is why I want to bring that up so don't go into fear about any of that kind of stuff but just be aware okay because you don't want to react to any situation and be careful about um, just situations where you know a karmic could potentially lure you over to their area because I've heard lots of stories where the karmics try to get the divine feminine if they're on their property you know they'll start a fight with them to try to get them arrested for something because they're on their property so you know if it's not your masculine asking you to come over and there's a karmic telling you to come over to work things out um, you might be want, want to be a little leery of that but no fear and I'm going to uh, that's it for today because I'm going to do a divine feminine read so I'll do these I'll do some sand art and oracle cards in the divine feminine read so you know what to do you know the routine rise and be loved bye